Hi, my beautiful Scorpios. How are you? It is B. Welcome to my channel, Psychic Sounds by B. Thank you so much for joining me. This particular reading is for Scorpio Sun, Scorpio Moon, and Scorpio Rising. Uh, for those of you that have Venus, Mars, or Jupiter in Scorpio, you may want to listen to this reading as it relates to your love life. Okay, for those of you that would like to subscribe to my channel, please make sure that you click the notification button and make sure that that bell is wiggling so you will be immediately notified when I post my videos. For those of you interested in getting a consultation with me or a subscription to my website, the link will be below. Thank you so much for all of your likes, your shares, and your subscribes. I certainly do appreciate it. This particular reading is for the months of September and October. I will be pulling the September energies from the Rider Waite, and I will be pulling the October energies from the Barbieri Tarot. For those of you that have a subscription to my website, the extended readings for this month will be on the website uh, for all of you there, and you can access the extended readings there. Of course, you will need to purchase a subscription. It's a very small, small monthly fee to get access to all of the extended readings for the month. Okay. All right, guys, Scorpios, what do we got going on for you for the month of September? Scorpios, spirit guides, archangels, guardian angels, the seven masters, please surround me now to give the most appropriate and helpful information for the beautiful Scorpios for the month of September. Okay, I'm going to cut the deck. All right, here we go. Your first card is... The Three of Swords, Scorpio. Wow. Your, and that's the general energy for the month of September. Now, your work life and financial life energy is the Hierophant. All right, Scorpio. The emotional life and love life, Scorpio, is the Four of Swords. Your health and your well being, Scorpio, is the Justice card. Oh, dear. Wow, Scorpios, this is interesting. Scorpio, some of you want to get a divorce, not all of you. Please remember, this is a general reading, but some of you may want to get a divorce. There may have been some activity, some lies, deception, pain, deceit coming in for whatever reason. It's almost like someone has slammed the door and said, I don't want to talk to you anymore. Um, this may have been something to do with a Libran person or a Taurus person. All right, Scorpio, that could be what's going on here. And justice was served. Um, again, guys, remember I stated uh, that um, way back Okay, in February, I warned people that we were going to have two full moons in Libra in March and April, respectively, and to get ready for that. I'm, I'm also like rubbing my hands, like I'm rubbing my, like someone is nervous or anxious about something, Scorpios. Um, someone tried to escape something Scorpios somebody's getting caught I'm I'm sorry it, you know honestly Scorpio it could be you but but it certainly could be someone else but someone has gotten caught someone is getting caught someone is being brought to justice is what this is saying wow let's get into it Scorpio so for your first card, your general energy, you have the Three of Swords. The Three of Swords is all about sadness, delay, separation, divorce, pain, lies, deceit, third-party situations, interference, crying profusely. Okay, there may have been deception that you're finding out about that you're crying about, or somebody else may have found, a found out that you deceived them. They're crying over the deception something is going on here. This could also simply be separation where someone is not doing well, even physically or, or mentally, and they're, they're starting to kind of fade Scorpio. I mean, this is what this kind of feels like to me. For some of you out there, you may have had uh, a significant other or a family member that underwent some sort of um, 
heart procedure. There might be a lot of stress. I mean, I'm feeling, I'm feeling anxious. I'm kind of like this, you know, I feel like I'm, I'm like all tied up. Like I'm all like tense, right? So that could be coming up here as well. Uh, for some of you Scorpios out there, there could be something going on regarding the military because this is um, institutions. This could be a federal institution. This could be, and plus we've got justice. So the Department of Justice is coming up here too. Oh my gosh. Scorpios, I'm just going to say this as an aside. You may hear about this, but the Department of Justice in the month of September is bringing down the hammer. Oh yeah. All right. Let's just be aware of that. So uh, the Hierophant is a Taurus person in your life. It could also to a lesser degree be a Pisces or a Libran person or even a Gemini person just because of the duality and the twins that we have down here. Um, but anyway, this Hierophant person, um, this is all about institutions. This is about marriage commitment, uh, following the rules, uh, things that are orthodox, okay? This is kind of like Pope energy. Um, like I said, I think that there might be something coming out about the churches, about the Catholic Church again, so just be aware of that. Some of you uh, Scorpios are, maybe you're getting baptized in the, into the Catholic Church or you are part of the Catholic Church and it's like something comes up, some sort of, some sort of issue comes up about the Catholic Church, you just don't want to talk about it. That could be what's going on for some of you Scorpios out there. So I want to make you aware of that as well. But for some of you, you might, um, you may have uh, tried to get into a job with the government and it was denied. Some of you might be getting fired from a government job. Uh, that could be, um, it feels to me like something is going on with the government here that is of great significance and it could affect you, Scorpio. So just be aware of that. Let's see what else. A Taurus person may be of great significance to you in your work life and financial life. Institutions, banking, industries, like maybe you got denied for a loan or maybe you, um, Maybe you're just working really, really hard to pay off some bills. Maybe you're working hard on paying off some bills for perhaps someone that has passed away in your life. And like you're stuck with all of the expenses for some reason. It is coming up here. So as it relates to the emotional life and love life, we do have the Four of Swords. This absolutely would follow the Three of Swords, right? So first is the Three of Swords and then it's the Four of Swords. So this is going in perfect sequence. So someone was really hurt. Someone was deceived or betrayed. And now that they've been deceived or betrayed, now they're healing. They're taking a step back. They're, they're kind of, they might be hermiting themselves away. They might be saying, you know, what have I done? You know, what have I done? You know, I, I should have never done that. I should have never lied. Okay. So Scorpio, you could be saying that about someone or someone could be saying that about you. Um, this could also be where for some of you Scorpios, for some reason, it feels to me like you are mourning the loss of someone. It doesn't have to be physically, but you're mourning the loss of someone. This also is something might be haunting you in your sleep as well. This could be. Yes. Wow. There's something here about being memorialized or something about... This is so weird. This is what I get. Okay, so when I look at this guy, it looks like, it looks like he's not even real. It looks like it's a, it's a coffin. It looks like it's someone who has been like solidified in a way, but not like in a good way. Like immediate, it's kind of like turned to stone is what this feels like, Scorpio. Someone has turned to stone. And for some of you, there is 
that story from the Bible since I've got <laughs> since I've got the uh, the hierophant right next to this uh, energy. I feel like something could be coming up here regarding um, the story of Sodom and Gomorrah when um, what's his name? I can't I can't remember. Maybe some of you guys will remember. I can't remember. But anyway, there were there was a family that God wanted to save from the destruction of Sodom and Gomorrah. And he said for these people that they can escape. You can escape. You can get out of this. But the angels told them, do not look back. Do not look back or you will turn to stone. Okay, so something is coming up here and it might have like, really nasty like Sodom and Gomorrah type of energy to it, Scorpio. But it's almost like something's going on here where someone is getting karma, karmic return big time. And it's like, karma has been delivered. Karma will be delivered in September. Absolutely. That's what it is. And for something of you, something gets set in stone or something is immovable. There's an immovable object. Uh, as it relates to health, uh, definitely there could be some uh, claims, insurance claims, legal issues regarding health. Uh, you might have someone who is a Libran person who needs to get some health checkups done. That could certainly be or a Taurus person as well. Uh, there could, like I said, there could be military energy here. So maybe some of you, some of you, you have a military member, a uh, family member that is in the military that is getting deployed. They're going to be gone for a little while. Um, that is what I am getting here. But justice will be served. The scales will be balanced. So if you have been harmed, Scorpio, that scale will be balanced for you. But if you've harmed someone, this, this, you will get justice. I mean, this is how this is. I feel, I feel almost Scorpio that someone. Oh man, that's crazy. It's like someone is in trouble with the law and they off themselves. Like they commit suicide. Scorpio, I don't know if you're in the health field or if you're in the, um, like the police field or something like that, or even the lawyer field, because something's coming up here where someone decides, I don't want to face accountability. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to take my own life. It is so, so weird, Scorpios. Gosh, I hope this is making sense to you. But yeah, you have somebody judging possibly on a divorce, alimony, something like that. You needing to put something behind you so that you can move forward in the month of September. Uh, wow, this is a pretty intense reading, Scorpio. So, dear Lord, what's going on with October? What is the general energy for October for Scorpio? What is the general energy? Oh, dear. This is, I believe. Which one is this? I think this might, this might be the hermit, right? I'll figure it out. But this, this energy, this person, it's like she has something wrapped around her. And she's looking out beyond 
like she's protecting herself for some reason. So Scorpios, you might be protecting yourself for some reason. You don't want anybody to find you. Scorpios, oh my gosh, what is going on with you? It's like you're in a, like a witness protection something or other. Sorry, guys, I dropped my cards. I have to pick them up. Okay. Um, yeah, it's like a witness protection program or it's like a hiding. Someone is hiding from betrayal or a third party situation or something. Someone is hiding or pain, separation. Somebody doesn't want to be around. It's almost like Scorpio, you or someone that you know doesn't want to be around anybody else because they're not with the person they actually want to be with. So it's almost like they can't even enjoy themselves because someone else isn't there. Someone else is no longer in their life. It just feels that way. So what's going on with uh, work life and financial life? Some of you might, um, Scorpio, some of you might be asked to volunteer for church to be an, uh, an alderman or to be, you know, a server or a greeter or something like that. It is coming up here for some reason. Something about a funeral. I don't know what's going on here, Scorpios, but it, I just feel it coming in. What else is going on here for work life and financial life? Ooh, the emperor. Whoa, Scorpios. Scorpios, you could have an overbearing boss or you could have an overbearing person that you're dealing with. It could be an overarching system that you're dealing with. Like you want to be in charge, but right now it's like you're, you're not for some reason. You're trying to regain your power, re regain your strength, take your power back is what's coming up here, possibly here in the month of October. That could be happening. Now you've got someone who is a um, Aries person, a Taurus person, or a Capricorn person that is of great significance in your life, Scorpio. Scorpio, this could be a father to you. And they're acting strangely. Like they're not the same. They're not acting the same at all. It's like, it's almost like for the last four months, they have been like happy, go lucky and supportive and everything. And it's like, it seems like once that four months was over, like starting, probably starting now, okay. It's like they're changing. They're not they're not the same. Okay. Maybe they're dealing with a legal issue. Maybe they're dealing with heartbreak, betrayal, lies, deceit, and they're just not acting the same. That's just what I'm picking up here, but you're taking charge of your, of your finances. Again, you're, you want to be in charge of the finances. You want to make sure that everything is checked, 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 and rechecked. You might be in charge, Scorpio, of a very, very large organization or a large agency of some sort, Scorpio. So what do we have going on with your emotional life and love life, Scorpio, to clarify the Four of Swords? Oh, geez. The Four of... Is that... The Four of Wands. That's what it looks like. But look at this. This is the four of wands, but he's got like skulls and people surrounding him. And he, it almost looks like he's thinking, what am I going to do? What do I do? Good heavens, Scorpios. This is like, this is oppression. This is suppression. This is dictatorship. This is like 
someone wants to lord over you or you want to lord over someone else. You want people to crawl at your feet or or somebody wants you to come crawling back to them or you may be considering crawling back to somebody for some reason. It's just this weird energy like it's almost like there's death and memories and and pain around this situation and perhaps I really really think that in this case Scorpio when you've got the four of swords combined with the four of wands it's like you don't want anybody around the house. You don't want anybody coming over. You don't want, or someone that you live with or someone that you're sharing um, space with doesn't want anybody to come over. It's like somebody went into complete hermit mode. I mean, complete hermit mode. This is just Wow, I am going to be so curious what the extended is for this. Wow, Scorpius, you're going through some intense energy. So what's going on with your health and your well-being, Scorpios? The swords. Seven of swords. Oh, dear. Again, this woman is all wrapped up in something. Scorpios, I'm thinking in some situation here, this could be a friend, a family member. It could be happening to you. It could be happening to somebody else. What I think possibly happened here was that cheating was discovered and now someone is getting their justice and or, or deceit. Okay, somebody's getting their justice and now, and they thought they could get away with it and it was like, it was almost stupid in a way. It was like, it was just dumb. It was just like, they lied or deceived someone to do something else that if they would have just been truthful about it, everything would be fine. But they lied about it. And because they lied about it, now justice came crashing down on them. It was the last straw. It broke the camel's back. Someone is getting called out for deceit, manipulation, lies, stealing, um, extortion, whatever it is. I just, I see somebody going to jail. This could be something going on at work with you, Scorpio, as well. Like, Somebody's doing something that is not on the up and up and now somebody's getting in trouble. And you're going to be you're going to be brought into this Scorpios. You're going to be brought into it. Because maybe you're in charge of the group and you should have been watching somebody and because you weren't watching them now it's like somebody's coming down hard on you and they're saying where were you? What were you doing? And Everything. It's like it's like somebody's getting caught at work, Scorpios. I don't know what this is all about, but this is serious. I gotta pull clarifiers for these. Oh gosh. If you have a subscription to my website, you definitely can get this extended reading. I do wish all of you the best. Okay. Very, like I, I wish you guys good luck. I am certainly hoping that this is not happening to you. I hope it's happening around you. And I really, really hope that you have protected yourself with truth and integrity so you don't have to go through any of this crap, all right? woof -da. All right, Scorpios, I wish you the best. Much light, much love, and many blessings. Namaste.